What? Oh, apples. Look at that cab just like push. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. We all. Oh. All right, buddy. I'm going to hop on GTA. So I'll talk to you tomorrow next week at the Cubby. All right, a wild Wesso. You can check us out all weekend, bro. We'll be playing all sorts of stuff. Let's go pay off these inventor dudes. What? Yeah, I know. Scott plants his birthdays today. Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. You, sir, a wild Wesso, you play hard or pass that controller, my friend. And remember, do nice missions with Trevor. Do nice missions with Trevor. Neglected to do my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Well, yes, my good sir. Have a hamburger on me. Thanks. You seem very nice. I uh, wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Sure. Thank you. I won't let you down. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Yeah. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Now Scott the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. Alrighty then. Let's go over to Orange Kid. Let's see what's going on over here. Greetings. I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help me finance the project? Yes. Oh, goody. Would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? Yes. Thank you very much. Your support should have a tremendous impact on all of mankind. Good guy Ness teaches us about friends who ask for money to do crazy stuff with them. Mick Mushroo, hello. What is up, my friend? How are you? Let me give you my new super orange machine. I call it Suporma for short. Don't give that bum money. <laughs> Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. They're quite lit. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Let's go fight the hippie. I want to fight the hippie. Yeah! <laughs> Look at the background. That hippie's tripping out on some LSD, bros. He took a, he took a sheet of acid. Don't invest in the orange guy. I do it to all of them all the time. The new age retro hippie. Heck yeah, we're going to punch him with a ball bat. Bam. Hit him again. Yeah. Johnny be good. Yeah. We just decimated the hippie. We took control of his real life real life hippies don't have a life they just have no self-control when it comes to the drug game guys yeah. don't you know no. <laughs> you hear the wife in the background <laughs> yes no <laughs> she's over there playing the mario brothers now on her tablet no, I, down. Yes. I might play alongside you i'm playing too nice mcshrew or mcmushrew Withdraw like 50 bucks. How much is it tonight? 50 bucks. All right. I was right. 
Oh no. Ness. No money. Ness? Ness. Ness. I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Talk about a weird hash brownie dream. Who the hell is calling my name? Can you try to get run over by a Tazzy? I can try. You can call me Moo. Moo, 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 Moo. Let's read the paper. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. Ghosts found to inhabit tunnel to Threed. That's creepy. <sighs> what? Oh yeah, so guys, I'm gonna bug the crap out of this guy. It's hilarious. We're gonna have a free hotel uh, hotel stay one time on this guy. So what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Mmm. You're annoying. Dang me. I know I'm annoying, and yes, dang you. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, you. What? Later days, pal. Ah, ha, ha. It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Ho ho ho. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka ching Ness got fifty dollars. Heck yeah, I got fifty bucks. And that's a free night stay at your Tucson Hotel Resort, my friends. Heck yeah. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first-class hotel like this one. I don't see the swimming pool. I couldn't find a mini bar in my room. What do you mean this is a first-class resort hotel? Come on. Come on. Apparently, I'm treated like a little man. Like, I'm a, I'm a miniature adult. I need an adult! Thank you for that tip, McMushroo. Not a problem, guys. Also, there is a rock candy glitch as well. Um, the way the rock candy glitch works is, uh... Basically, you'll put it in the second person's inventory and you'll give them the rock candy and then fill it up with nothing but sugars and then the person who's about to level up will use the rock candy uh right before they're supposed to level up from a battle and where the only thing that'll get used up is a sugar packet so you'll go buy another sugar packet and what's really cool about it is uh basically you'll keep doing this over and over and over uh, each time someone's about to level up the sugar packet gets used and when you level up you get a ridiculous boost to like one of your stats or a chunk of your stats but remember this eventually when it rolls over from 255 being the max number in each stat um, you quite literally go to the negative side and it's like oh basically The magic butterfly made Ness get reflexed. Oh yeah, the kid is high off, <laughs> off his gourd. Look at that health, 123. Wow, we're like a walking tank right now. Let's do this. Lol. No, what? Okay, you guys did see that, right? Like, that plant was still there. Wow! We're gonna auto fight this one so I can get some coffee from Ridiculous Mug. Alright. 
spreading seeds around yourself? What? No way. No freaking way. I want to get Paula. I want to get Paula. Crap! Okay, so I'm going to have to save. Yeah, we leveled up to 14. Oh my goodness, we learned Paralysis Alpha. Are you kidding me? Sweet! Let's get up here to the, uh, that giant pencil again. Oh, crap. Yeah! I forgot that my health was low. You're boned! I know! Oh, my goodness! I got my butt saved! Wow! I totally thought I was a dead man. What is up with this? I can give you a tip when you reach a certain boss. Which what? Which which one, McMushroo? Because I know the Diamond Dog. As long as I have the giant like multi bottle rocket, like two of those, and I'll be fine. <laughs> Close call. All right. I set the control. Oh. Go figure. Hiding under the disc. That weird mole boss. Yeah, like, you gotta fight him five times. They all think they're the third strongest. It's so annoying, too. Ha ha ha! Got around you, UFO. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. What's the uh, trick behind the mole boss? If there is a trick, because uh, don't you gotta fight them all to get the uh, diamond? I'm using the uh, one inch frame glitch. Basically, if you go within an inch away from the enemy off screen, usually that triggers the next screen to uh, take them. It like resets the frames. No, isn't there a mole sanctuary boss like boss two? Uh, yeah, sort of. Let's see, giant step is one. It there's the magnet place in four side. There's belches like fountain thing. When you get to three, oh yeah, yeah. There's like a plant boss for the second place when we get to blue blue. Uh, what is it? The the blue blue valley. Um, I think you can quite literally bomb that thing. Yeah, the first boss after Paula. Uh, Belch is that nasty thing, but that's also where we acquire Jeff. Um, guys, when we go on break, would you guys like to see more of this while we dish out uh more keys in the next stream? Because we do have an end of stream raffle. But we are coming back in three hours. We're literally just taking a break. I could leave the laptop running and everything. Because this is not intense intensive on the on the game at all. Mondo Mole. That's uh